carrying on with the series Great British Planes and this episode is on the world's first jet airliner, the de Havilland Comet, advocated by the late Trevor Bayliss, the clockwork radio inventor. And it's a controversial choice in some ways. The aircraft had a disastrous start, to say the least. There were several terrible crashes in the early days of the, of the de Havilland Comet. But you could argue that it's because of the, what we learned from those disasters and the development that happened afterwards that jet travel is so safe today. Anyway, what do you think? Put your comments below and let's hear what Trevor Bayliss thinks now. Thanks for watching. I'm sitting in the co-pilot's seat of my favourite aircraft, the de Havilland Comet. It was the first passenger jet aircraft brought into service and first flew in 1949, six years ahead of our American rivals. It's hard to believe now what a technological breakthrough this uh, aircraft was. The de Havilland Comet really was the Concorde of its day. Anybody who was anybody wanted to have a flight on one of these. For the first time, civilians could actually be traveling at speeds in excess of 500 miles per hour, faster than those flown by the pilots during the Second World War, only five or six years before. After those beautiful beginnings, there were a number of tragic moments. In fact, there were three disasters. What actually happened is that a crack started at the corners of the windows, and that caused the uh, fuselage to literally disintegrate. The remedy was to change the windows from square to round. All windows you see in modern aircraft are circular because of what they discovered with the comet. These tragedies gave comet a terrible image problem, which is so sad because the later versions of the Comet were perfectly safe. For my money, this is one of the most beautiful airliners ever made. The engines are built into the wings, and in fact, they have the most amazing uh, intakes. If you look on each side, you've got what appears to be two sets of E-type Jaguars pointing at you. It's the most stunning looking aircraft and indeed a design classic. And that is why I believe that the de Havilland Comet is Britain's greatest aeroplane. <laughs>